Okay, guys, today we're going to be talking about which Gerber you should buy first. Now, I kind of have this unofficial series going on the channel where I, if I own quite a few tools from a particular brand, I usually do a video like this discussing which knife you should buy first from that brand. And today, where the brand in question is going to be Gerber. Now, as always, guys, before we get into this, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out the Instagram if you want to see more content and behind the scenes. Okay, now let's actually jump into which Gerber you should buy first. Okay, so in my vast ownership of a few different Gerber tools, I can now with reasonable definition say that it's really just a trick question. You shouldn't buy any Gerber at all. Don't get into them. If you can at all, avoid them because I have a lot of their US made products. I don't really mess around with their Chinese or foreign uh, made tools but I have a lot of their USA made knives and I'm actually missing the strong arm for this example, but the Prodigy and the strong arm are actually exactly the same. So it really doesn't matter. Um, ultimately though, I will say, I would just recommend against Gerber products as a whole because there are, unfortunately with Gerber products, they check a lot of boxes and they don't check a lot of boxes. So for instance, this LMF2 is actually pretty well ground and pretty well made as far as the construction and quality or build quality on this thing. However, the problem is the actual quality of the components, like the handle on this one is broken. Um, the steel, or the heat treat on it is very soft and it chips out and rolls and overall does not keep an edge worth a darn. So even though, you know, it has pretty good tip strength and it's ground pretty well or at least you know the bevel goes pretty far back like it should uh you know it is just really lacking in overall quality and then looking at some of the more modern products uh or you know some of the products that they've more recently released you know the prodigy is actually pretty darn good i don't have too much to say against it aside from the fact that there's definitely some lacking edge where they did not grind it uh very well and the ergonomics do leave a bit to be desired but you know things even like this modern day principle uh you know this thing just came to me dull i mean you guys can see here i'm literally running my thumb over the edge and uh you know if it was sharp i would be bleeding right now but uh, this knife came out of box just completely dull and not to mention its sheath is just utter trash i mean you see this i mean it, it looks really terrible it is very very hard to actually get your knife out uh, of because you have so much weird plastic on the back of this thing that's just blocking you so you know trying to get your fingers in to actually like grab the knife out of the sheath is actually horrific so you know it's just lack of quality uh you know designs and really you know thoughtful uh, production and not to mention this principle is a very small knife like you guys can see here it is a tiny tiny little guy and uh, for me you know this thing is kind of marketed as a you know bushcraft knife it's a you know kind of back to it's kind of back to basics kind of very you know essential type of tool but uh, overall you know it's like it's not sharp, the sheath is trash, and even this handle fitment, I mean, I'll have to uh, get a little bit closer here so you guys can see, but I mean, if you look at this handle fitment here, it is just absolute rubbish. I mean, this is terrible, guys. I mean, this is this is not good at all, you know? And I do give it some props, because at least it is a rubberized handle, but I mean, your handle is literally already peeling away from the, uh, from the, the slab of steel that you have here. And so it is just not very good. Not to mention that uh, on the, these particular knives, like the principal, the rubber is over molded onto hard plastic. And so there is a high chance that if you're batoning or doing anything with this thing, you are going to have separation of that nice grippy rubber from the actual hard plastic. So it is just 
really not quality. I mean, that's why I, this really is a trick question. Do not buy Gerber if you can at all help it. I bought these knives so that I can produce videos like this and, you know, help you guys see that these tools are not really worth your money or your time or your trust at all. Even, like I said, the USA made, you know, American made Gerbers are really just not optimal. Now, I will say this, if you must, if you're compelled, uh, to buy Gerber, I'd probably say buy the Gerber Prodigy because it is probably the most comfortable and most well put together uh, knife in their lineup, including their sheath. The sheath is uh, not half bad at all. And for the most part, I do actually like the Prodigy from Gerber, but overall, you know, things like the strong arm, things like the LMF2, the principal, uh, they are just really not great or not well put together knives at all. Like I said, I mean, this one's just dull as all get out. And uh, that's kind of embarrassing too, because this knife has a Scandi grind on it. So you're meaning to tell me that they couldn't even properly sharpen the Scandinavian grind. I mean, this is just embarrassing to be honest uh, in every way possible and conceivable the sheath is trash the handle fitments trash the blade is not sharp uh, but it's probably not great and being made out of you know Chinese 420 high carbon it is not uh, amazing at all so when it comes down to it don't buy Gerber don't buy any of these products that you've seen in this video except for maybe the Prodigy if you must uh, don't buy the strong arm it's it's not fantastic um, Overall, that's kind of my opinion, and that's kind of my use experience on Gerber's. They have really consistently let me down, and they will probably consistently let you down too. Okay, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.